All right, praise the Lord. This is uh, Pastor William King. This uh, I want to welcome you to this uh, series on spiritual growth. Uh, this webcast is support material for the lesson titled Moving Past Difficulty, which is Lesson 3 in our Spiritual Growth series. Uh, key scripture in this support material will come from the book of Genesis, 6 chapter, verses 7 through 9. Uh, before I begin uh, reading, let's have a word of prayer. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, God, for blessing us to be here, God. We thank you for your spirit, Lord, for teaching us and guiding us into all truth. We ask, Lord, that you bless the hearer and the speaker in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, this illustration that you see here on the screen is a demonstration or it demonstrates the process which, uh, or demonstrates a process which is extremely important for every child of God to understand. Everything that we are experiencing, have experienced, or will experience in our life, good or bad, is a result, or is a result of seed sown into our lives. Uh, these seeds are not sown by others, but they are sown by us. Praise the Lord. Uh, when we trust, hear that again, when we trust what we see, hear, touch, taste, or smell, then we act upon that thing and integrate it into our experiences. Our experiences play key roles in how we respond to what we see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. We use those experiences to judge our situation or new, ex new situations we face in our lives. Okay, so our response is the sowing process. The result is the harvest. So what we see happening to us today is the harvest. Uh, it's what we have sown in our life. If you're filled with the Holy Ghost or the Spirit of God, then there are seeds sown on both sides, either seeds sown in the flesh or seeds sown in the Spirit. Uh, some of us have more experiences or seeds sown in the flesh than those sown in the spirit and therefore face more struggles or conflicts than those who have less but in either case the benefit package provided to us through the blood the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ and the gift of the Holy Ghost has provided a way for us to grow in both cases we become more than conquerors because of that blood and because of uh, his spirit uh, the scripture says that his spirit when his, when the Holy Ghost comes when a comforter comes uh, the Bible describes him as the spirit of truth who will take us by the hand and guide us uh, the scripture tells us that we are not to lean to our own understanding but acknowledge him in all our ways and he will direct our path and so in this benefit package that God has provided through Calvary, we have the opportunity, uh, uh, well, that means that difficulties provide the greatest opportunities for spiritual growth. Spiritual growth uh, is achieved by a child of God when the situation has not changed, but yet the child of God has changed. How he see and responds to that situation. Now, spiritual clarity is very important. Spiritual clarity is achieved when you are able to capture the mind of God, to see God while the struggle remains. Okay, setting your affection on things that are above. You have uh, made a decision that this is an opportunity for spiritual growth, and so you are trying to, despite of what the situation appears to be, uh, you're trying to capture the will and mind of God. Okay, uh, even though the situation is conflicting against what. Uh, the word says you hold to the word instead of the situation okay so if you want a better tomorrow then today you need to plant the seeds of righteousness into your life God spoke through Ezekiel and said that your righteousness will not deliver you in the day of trouble so if you but his righteousness will so if if things are continuing to happen in your life that means you're planting on the wrong side of your life you're planting in the flesh okay uh, the evils that you're experiencing today and 
The blessings are a direct result of what was sown into your life from the past. Okay, if you want your tomorrow to be better than today, then you must begin to sow into your life good seed today. In our spiritual growth series, I taught a lesson on seeing clearly. Spiritual clarity plays a key role in fruit production. Jesus said, when the seed fell on good ground, it yielded 30, some 60, some 100. Clarity. And how much clarity you have within a situation will determine how much or who, rather it's the flesh or the spirit, will sow into your life. Looking at our illustration here, be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So there are two distinct environments we sow into. We sow into the flesh, or we sow into the spirit. Each is bound by laws which affect our lives differently. The natural man compares natural things to natural things, whereas the spiritual man compares all things to spiritual things. That's why the Holy Ghost will lead you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. The Word of God is spiritual. So what happens when the Word of God uh, comes to the flesh? Well, the book of Mark, the fourth chapter, describes that. There are three things, three responses. Okay, you got the uh, Word sown on uh, by the wayside, a stony ground and thorny ground. Each one of those received the Word. One looked at his life, compared the Word to his life, and he uh, said it wasn't a good match and walked away. The other one rejoiced because the Word of God is, is, is very powerful and it, it encourages us and they begin to uh, bear upon themselves and begin to try to uh, uh, form habits to hold on to it but then when controversy came they left off from the Word offended and then the other one looked at the Word of God and the devil came immediately and just took it right out of their heart. But when you look at the good ground the Word says that it yield fruit so when the word enters in, when the, uh, the word comes on the spiritual side, it will always produce fruit, even if it's only 1%. Because Jesus Christ said he started this work in us, he will finish it. Praise God. And so he will always cause us to yield fruit. So if we abide in him, let his word abide in us, we will bring forth much fruit. That's what his word says. Now, I got some scripture here, and I'll let you read those at a later time, but I'll read some of those. But it says, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So when the word of God, which is spiritual, enter in to the natural man, he'll get offended, and he'll leave it off. He'll leave off from doing it. Okay? Then when we look on the spiritual side, it says, Take heed whatsoever you hear, for what measure ye meet, it shall be measured unto you. And I talked about clarity earlier. Okay? And unto you that hear shall more be given. Alright, so when we look at the Word of God and we look at where the Word is sown into our lives, everything that exists in our current life today is a result of the seeds that are sown in into our lives. If you want tomorrow to be better, Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow. So what does that mean? That means that you take consideration for today because enough is the evils that you have to deal with today. So if you want to, tomorrow to change, you deal with the things that are happening today. Okay? Don't think about tomorrow. You deal with today. Begin to sow good seeds in your God bless you. This is Pastor William King. Visit me at my website www.glifechurch.com or send me an email at pastorwilliamking at gmail.com God bless you.